Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Verki and in this video I'm going through the customization options of the Porsche 911 Speedster in the Crew 2 and I love this car, it's an absolutely beautiful car, it's a convertible so it's something different, yeah, we're not used to it in the Crew 2 uh, and I'm gonna see and I'm gonna find out what the customization options are so first of all we're gonna change the color, I already got rid of the livery which I didn't like and let's go through the standard colors um, I actually like the orange, you know, and the blue. Very bright colors. So, I go for the orange color. Maybe the green. I had a color in mind. Uh, the Pablo Escobar version. Basically, Pablo Escobar had a, had a Porsche. I don't know if it's a 911, but it was a classic Porsche. It's now for sale. It's for sale for 2 million or something. And it was a very cool, strange yellow color. Um, but it's gonna take so much time to get it in this game, you know, with fine-tuning and stuff So I'm just gonna give up on that and I'm just gonna use a standard color like this orange which suits perfectly if you ask me so orange color uh, Liveries maybe let's see what the liveries are actually maybe there are there are already people that have Made a livery although I don't know what this is Okay, so there's not really much going on so let's leave it standard and now we go to the visual part, which is going to be, I think, expensive. Yeah, 10 grand almost for a uh, for every visual. Oh, no. But it's going to be an expensive one. But we got plenty of money. So let's see. You've got three hoods. Uh, you've got the stock one, the carbon one, and we've got this one. I actually do not really like carbon on a car. On the interior, it's all okay, but not on the outside of a car. So I'm going to stay with stock here. And then we've got 12 front bumpers. You've got the taped ones. Let's go uh, slowly. This one looks pretty neat. Number 4. Um, yeah, you got the taped ones. Do I like this spoiler? This splitter? I'm boring. I'm boring. I know. I go for 7. 7 looks pretty dope. Uh, we got rims, and I think I just go for the number two. These look so good. You know, the rims in this game are meh. Although these are pretty okay. But I go for number two, which so looks pretty good. Bang on. So let's leave it on that. Let's make the caliper the same color as the outside of the car. And make it orange. So it fits perfectly. And then we go for the mirrors. So, let's go for the car carbon looks pretty good in this, actually. So, let's go for carbon. Then we've got the skirts. Yeah, well, some carbon looks... Ah, I think it looks pretty neat. Rear fender. What is this? Oh, it's gonna change. Okay. So, we've got some ventilation stuff going on. I actually love number two. So, let's go for this one. Then we've got the rear wing. Can we fit a nice spoiler? Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can, baby. Whoo! This is be this is nice. This looks very, very nice. Um, I'm going f maybe too quick through them. I don't know, but oh my, they all look the same, don't they? Ah, oh. I, I can't g I can't go further than this. It's a little bit glitchy, so fix it, Ubisoft. Oh. Do I like this? Do I like four exhausts? Where's these exhausts? Oh, tiny pipes. No, 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 no. I'm going for... Oh, uh, yes. Yes, this one. I actually tried this to do this on my own car, you know, to darken the rear, the taillights. I tried to darken them, but it was such a mess. I couldn't get the foil on there the right way. It was... Oh, so I got just rid of it. But it's so cool when the rear, the, the taillights and sometimes the front lights are a little bit darker than normally like like this so i go for this one looks pretty neat i think it was everything no it was not everything rick uh rear wing rear bumper and then we go to the interior which well red is very cool but i you know an interior color would be like a orange interior would be nice but it's not possible so i think we just go for white here and then do we do i think this one is pretty okay and then we can choose between two uh, materials. I don't really see a 
difference happening? Do you see a difference? Normally it's like the trim, the, the gray trim. Normally this changes, but I don't really see something happening, but we could just go for number two. And now we've got the interior. Oh, what's this? Uh... Oh, this is the material. Oh, that's the seats. Normally you've got like a mat and you've got a gloss, but I don't really see a difference. Go for two anyway. Just pay extra for nothing. Uh, and I actually like carbon on the interior, you know, that, that looks pretty dope. So, yeah, that's the car. Uh, maybe we, yeah, you've got, we've got some vanities. I don't know how I got these tires, but as I already told you, the vanities, well, I don't really care about. Oh, what the fuck is this, actually? This is like the Ken Block version rims, you know what I mean? Like, the we Ken Block did this video in with his uh, one of his unicorn uh, cars actually looks like these rims um but yeah let's 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 leave that for that and we've got some performance and look at the car look how beautiful this one looks damn it look at this i uh, that, whoa did it change the tire actually the tires look pretty good did i change the tires i can't remember we're gonna drive in this baby imagine doing a road trip in this one. Oh, it's raining oh that's nice to have a convertible isn't it The sound is so good. I don't know if it's a real sound, but the sound is just very, very nice. Look at this. Oh, yes. Oh. Fuck was that? You so Oh, there are two there. Okay, well. No idea. No idea what happened there. I didn't see them. Uh, one just flew off to the moon or something. Um, but just do a normal street race. Just a normal, ordinary street race. race. Let's just do not care now uh, about the, uh, you know, the news stuff. Let's go just for... Uh, let's go for a normal street race. And then I will put it on a high-level street race. Uh, the North Strip. Let's go for the North Strip. I haven't really done a lot of street races. There's like one race I do for the grinding. But I haven't really done a lot of street races. I've done a few. But you know they've added a, as well. They've added a lot of new street races in the past. So I don't really know. Let's, let's test this car out. Maybe we can fiddle around with some pro settings afterwards. But let's just get a stock e idea. By the way this has the Nitro Gamist legendary... Uh, pack or booster or whatever it's called in this game so it's it's tuned it has double the nitrous so let's uh, see how this car does i think it has a lot of understeer but we're gonna see i definitely can't remember i changed these tires but well apparently i did so so let's see what this car is all about this is the north strip oh yes i kind of hate this race because I always get this jump wrong, as you can see. Oh well, it kind of saved it there, but I always get these jumps wrong in this uh, this particular race. Yep, it has a lot of understeer, so that's something we need to change. So that's something for uh, for me to work on. But you know, it drives pretty okay. It's pretty fast. It's not as good as the BMW. What was the one I tested? The M8, was it? That one was just got here, you know. That car was pretty, pretty good in the previous previous update. That car was just amazing. This car is also pretty well, but it's not as good as it is as the BMW. Oh, whoa, I don't know what went... Oh, I had a sudden shit... I had a sudden rush of shit to the brain there. I thought I had to turn right, but it was just a straight, so... No idea what I was doing. Oh, there are some people. I don't really care about the people. I actually wanted to do a first person, like a PO, uh, POV video while I was racing with my uh, Frostmaster steering. But Nitros doesn't work on that steering wheel, so... Yeah, too bad, you know. I can't play this game on a steering wheel because first of all, the Nitros doesn't work. 
And also the force feedback is really awkward. So you can't really get a feeling when you drive. Oh, you can crash the gate by the way. But you get a very strange feeling when you drive a car on a force feedback steering wheel because the force feedback doesn't work. And the start and the car does uh, start to do real stuff basically. And I really think it's it's hard to talk and race at the same time. But this car is pretty okay actually, pretty good. Pretty nice then. Looks cool, a convertible which I think they should add more convertibles in the game. That's that's something you know cool. I know you normally don't really race in convertibles, but it's it's just fun. Like like Forza Horizon, you can really enjoy the game I guess. Is that weird to say? Like I don't have money for a road trip, so I just go in a the crew too and I do a road trip. That's how uh, that's how poor I am. Well I'm not poor but I've got better things to spend my money on. But yeah, Porsche 911 Speedster. Pretty well. Pretty decent car, actually. Um, yeah. I don't know what the time was between me and the guys behind me, but I, I think it was a pretty big gap. But look at this car. It's, it's a little bit wrecked now, of course, because of the race, but. It's, it's a nice car, though. It's a nice car. I like it. So, um. Yeah, short video, short customization video about this car. I really do like it. There are more videos coming up with the other cars. So yeah, leave, uh, leave a like if you did enjoy this video. And uh, bye.